see here. There we go. Wow. Sorry about that. I had a, uh, I was rearranging something. Still no sound? Hang on. Properties. What about now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? There's, now there's sound, yes. Yeah. I was I was moving something and I pulled my microphone cord out of my laptop. Today's been the day. I'm telling you, it's been the day, it's been the day of uh, everything. Now it's technical difficulties. Why not? Oh my goodness. Who we got in here? PHH, Martha, not a Ren. Funko, Funko Biggie Daddy, Trippy Craig, Mama Said Pop You Out. I love that name. Hey, Trippy, it's there, brother. It's there. Look at this. It's there. I have, gran I have granddaughters. Of course there's makeup. Every every dad or every grandfather that has daughters or granddaughters has been made up. Funko Biggie Daddy, yes I did. Tomorrow's video will show you that. <laughs> it's going good, crazy Kimberlyn. Sarah, what's up? Fernando, what's up? Funko Joshua, what's up? Phoenix, what's up? Oh, just catching up here. I've been I've been watching y'all uh, chatting. It's going good, crazy. It's going good. You guys need to go check out Crazy Camberlin. Man, him and those hot sauces. Christina Payne, what's up? Yeah, crazy in those hot sauces man i tell you he's i'm a, i'm a i love hot sauces um i consider myself uh, relatively tough when it comes to them <laughs> but uh yeah not not to not to crazy kimberlin status i don't think you know the, the one to five scale yeah, his one, his his number, his number two is probably number twenty on my scale. Noelisms, what's up? All the way from Texas, y'all. <laughs> uh, Matic, uh, well, it's it's going. You know, I, on my live stream this morning, uh, we actually had uh, this the the mall popo come up to me while I was on my live stream and told me that uh, you couldn't film or take photos or anything else in the mall so that was interesting yeah that's a good one Ren Quaker Oats Quaker guy so yeah it's 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 like I said like I said this morning you know I ended 2018 getting pulled over by the popo and I started 2019 with the uh the mall popo, so uh, boom. Martha's in Alabama. Martha, I will be in Birmingham, Birmingham, Alabama for three days next week. Work trip. And also, uh, if you caught the uh, the stream this morning, me and Kent already got a bet for 2019. It's the uh, race to 19K. I don't really predict it happening, but hey, you never know. So yeah, it was a uh, it was a good day though. Um, I actually saw the complete uh, Captain Marvel wave at Walmart this afternoon. Um, every one of them, I lined them out and actually sent Kent Pool a uh, photo of it because uh, he was. He was feeling bad this morning because you know tar Target just didn't have any Target didn't have anything today. Hot Topic didn't have anything today. Box Lunch didn't have anything today. 
my next con that I'm going to um, you know that's a really good question um, I haven't one of the things uh, I'm going to do is try to put together a list of cons that I want to go to um, and today's the first of the year I know March there's some stuff going on in March but uh, I don't know which will be the first one Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what Funkle does in 2019. Lower Alabama. All right. Yeah, I'm um I actually booked my hotel. It's uh it's about 2 miles from a Target. <laughs> we'll hit 20k before 2020. Wow. I'm Look, here's the thing. I'm I'm ecstatic for the way my channel's grown in 2018. Um, it, it still amazes me that so many people actually want to look at this. But, hey, you know. <laughs> I love it, though. Yeah. Actually, uh, someone did complain about me today because uh, they said I was walking around and filming. Um which I find that funny because I wasn't filming. I was sitting there doing my live stream, but I was walking back and forth in front of a, uh, a sushi place, uh, waiting to see if Chick-fil-A would open up, which they didn't. Yeah. I can't believe you even got in an argument over hot wheel cars. Let me, let me tell you something trippy. Arguing gives you a headache. It really does. <laughs> it really does, dude. Harold's in the house. Yeah, I'm telling you, uh, I think it was me and uh, we were sort of joking around about it. And um, me and Kent and Brian and <laughs> that would probably get me to, to like a hundred thousand views on a video if I actually got to, got took to mall jail <laughs> uh well what's this started carving out some diorama pieces ooh nice that's awesome Chris I have two dios working right now I still got my winter wall I'm working on and uh I've, I'm getting ready to start one for the Black Panther figs Andrew, what's up? <laughs> no, no, nothing after this morning. Funko Live Chris is in the house. Here's the thing, Trippy. All arguments are stupid. All of them. Period. Arguing is a, uh, it's, it's, it just, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of brain cells. It really is. You know, Mary, um, the thought after the fact did cross my uh, my mind and it actually did come up in conversation. DK, you just posted something on Instagram? What? What did you post on Instagram? Let me see if I can. Oh, wait a minute. Let me look here. You tagged me. What is this? <laughs> This is awesome guys you need to go check out uh dk the legendary collector's instagram uh he just he just did a video and called out kent pool or he's talking smack about kent pool put your instagram in there dk that's that looks he, like he's he's coming for him in pop wars and he checked that video out that's cool uh, oh, nice. Just seeing if I uh, missed anything. How many hugs will I give this year? Ooh, keep a tab on it. Hey, I'm I'm telling you, I'm a hugger. I'm telling you, 
I mean, kill them with kindness. Just saying. Making sure I'm just catching up. Um, so I've got a couple of things. I got a I got a box. I'm actually bringing something to the toy table that I have never seen. So far, I've not seen anything on YouTube about it. I was going to do a video about it, but I thought, nope, I'm bringing it to the toy table. And I also got a box. And here's the problem when it comes to mail. Number one, I love mail. Mail's awesome. And uh, the one suggestion I would give people when they, when they send mail is... They used to have their, their name on it, which is good. I want to know that. But it'd also be really cool if you actually put who you your YouTube name. Because this came from Jeremy Brune in Plainsville, Illinois. And unfortunately, I don't know that. I, I just, I, I can't put nothing with that name. So I decided we'd open this up on the toy table tonight. I also have this box we're going to open up tonight. Yeah. Oh. Why are your folks not? Uh, Funko Pop. Okay, so Jose. Number one, uh, it is not solely on Funko Pops. Uh, I still actually, uh, my video released tomorrow, I actually picked up an action figure. Um, I am actually uh, did some photography today. Um, with some Fortnite figures. I like the figures. Um, to be perfectly honest, in my area, you, I just don't see them. I mean, I see everybody else's videos and Instagrams and Facebook. I was shocked to see the Captain Marvel stuff. Shocked. Uh, Black Series, I mean, I did see a new Predator Predator, Predator today, and I actually picked up a NECA, which you'll see in my video tomorrow. Um, so it's it's sort of I love fig I love the figures, um, but I like pops too. Um, I got drawn to the pops because it was more challenging to photograph them because they don't pose; they're static. So uh, that's what initially flipped me. Uh, from action figures as much was because number one I wasn't seeing them in my area um, and I sort of agree with uh, Funko Biggie I like hunting them I mean you can order everything online you can pre-order and blah 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 but I do like actually seeing them because sometimes when you see it what's called the glamour shot online it, it looks better or worse than in real life so I like physically seeing it but there's my proximia midnight um i photographed her yesterday so yeah i got I, I got figs i got i got figs uh 2019 i might actually sort of switch gears a little bit uh depending on what i see in my area uh not a wren um yeah i'm don't get me wrong it's a good looking wave I just, for, I just, I'm not feeling it right now. Now, two or three weeks from now, a month from now, I don't know. It might, it might change. But right now, I'm, I'm just not feeling it. Do do do. You would love to have a ba better figure, Mary. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm not in mail jail too. Uh, the mini figs. Now I'll be honest with you. I've got a, I've got a bunch of little mini figs. The uh, Walking Dead in memoriam, which that's the ones I love the best so far. And I'm, I don't know. It's it's weird. But I also have a pile of uh, Black Panther figures. Um, 
that I'm gonna, I'm building a diorama for those. And so yeah, we're gonna you're gonna see more you're gonna see some some more stuff in 2019. You want me to open this box up, see what's in it. I bet you it's a pop. <laughs> Ooh, I tell you, um, hang on a minute. I want to put something to rest. All right, so. I've yet to open this one yet, but I got the Moolot, which I don't care if that's how you said it or not. Got Moolot. I have these two yet. So, uh, yeah, I got action figures. I just, like I said, it's, uh, this is one of my favorites right here. I love this one. Let's open this thing up. I'm curious. Thanks, Christina. That uh, that was a test shot. Um, I went out today and uh, played with some fire again. Uh, this night, this time with the Raptor Fortnite figure. So keep your eye out for Instagram tomorrow. I'll probably get that photo posted on Instagram tomorrow. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, the, the Star Wars one that had the Poe Damon in it? Yeah. Oh, Rock Soldier, we're just, we're, we're just chatting right now. I'm getting ready. This is not, I'm just getting ready to open this box. This box is from Jeremy. And uh, I, I, I have no idea what this is. No idea. Oh, freaking awesome. Oh, I remember talking about this, but I, I can't remember Jeremy's like name name. Oh man, now I feel like a, a duber head. Check this out. Check out what he sent me. Is that not cool? The Butterfly Mode Star. This is cool. Let's take, his, let's take her out. The, let's take her out of the box. Two pops in it. Okay. Of course, Lisa, I would. Oh, that's got one of those weird. It's got one of those uh, unusual clamshells. I saw this, I think, on Jetta's channel when I first saw this thing, um, and it just, oh man, it's just, it's cool looking. Check that out. I mean, the detail on this thing is crazy. That's just, that is so cool, dude. Jeremy, thank you so much. That is awesome. Yeah, this is a. Uh, that is such a cool looking pop. Very cool. Another reason, man, I love this community. You just get surprises like this. Surprises. You'll have to forgive me. If I don't do this now, I will completely forget about it. But I always. Uh, Take off the little game stop. I gotta add it. I wish your Jetta's channel. I tell you, Jetta's gonna be at 20k by the end of January. I'm telling you right now. Boom! Add the collection. Yes, thank you, Jeremy. And what do, what do you do with your pops? You put them in a shoe soft protector. Why? Because they're dirt cheap. And you're crazy for not doing it. I mean, seriously. 
Go over to uh, shimistore.com. Get you 60 of them for 54 bucks, free shipping. And while you're at it, pick up some of the other cool stuff he's got. Use Toy Table, and you'll get 10% off. Oh, I, lo I love these things. I'm telling you, these things are at the point right now to where they're so affordable that literally you can put every single pop that you own in one of these things and never have to even think twice about it. Seriously. I mean, I picked up this at Walmart yesterday, and it's in a Shumi soft protector. Right there. This thing's cool looking. If you haven't seen this yet, this thing's cool looking. Nice, Anne Marie. I'm literally, I'll probably be ordering some more of mine. Um, probably in the next week or so, I'll have to order some more. That's true. That's true. But, but the thing about it is, though, like as cheap as these are, you don't need a discount. Seriously. I mean, they're less than a buck a piece. And you don't pay shipping. Ooh, Jose. Um, I don't have a... That's sort of a loaded question. And here's why. I like them both. However, like I said, in my area, a lot of times my collecting and, and what I find... First and foremost, everything is based on what I can photograph or what kind of ideal I can come up with. So, um, my favorite thing to collect is Hot Toys. I just, you know, I'm very, I have to be very selective on Hot Toys because, I mean, it's an investment. And I'm picky on those as well. Cause, and I'm glad I am picky with those. If I wasn't picky on those, this would be Greg Cook Hot Toy Channel because I literally would want them all. But I'm very thankful. I'm very picky when it comes to those. Yeah, looky there. Boom, boom. Boom. Bam. Voila. Right there. This is something in 2019 I'm really concentrating on is uh, exclusives. That is something I am seriously focusing on more than uh, complete sets. Because to be honest with you, um, complete sets are nice, don't get me wrong. They, I'll, I'll use I'll use Fortnite for example. I mean, if you get every single Fortnite pop, you're probably talking thirty pops. And when I look around at my shelving and, and my collection, I would literally have to dedicate an entire section for that one thing, and that literally would just bite into everything. You have to put them in protectors. Why not? And like I said, at 54 bucks for 60, I mean, let's see here. Let's let's do some let's do some quick math. I can find my app. There's my app. I'm gonna look here. Uh That's 90, like 91 cents a piece. Really? 91 cents? It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Pop Pez Protectors? No way. I have not seen anything Pop Pez Protector related. How would you even... I mean, I'm assuming you would have to fold this down to put it in a protector, maybe? Or maybe, how would you put that in a protector without doing this? But 
I'm not into Pez. I've got a few, as you see. Uh, I've got four. This literally is my favorite Pez right here. This is the first one I bought. So that's my favorite. The other ones I got in mystery boxes and stuff. Twix, does, to my knowledge, Twix does not. To my knowledge. Yeah, yeah. It, it'll, it'll come in, Steve. Uh, six inch or 10 inch? Ooh, that's a good question. Just reading, guys. Sorry, sorry. Seamus, what's up? Uh, Daniel, um, as far as figures or pops, it's widespread. It's, it's seriously, my collecting would cause you to have a brain aneurysm. There is literally no rhyme or reason to it. Uh, I have a lot of Marvel stuff. I have DC stuff. I've got movie-related stuff, TV show stuff. Star Wars stuff. Again, it's just what pops into my brain at the time. Um, so, yeah. Wow. Buck 70 for the point thirty five. Uh, shoot me. Now, I don't know the, about the free shipping overseas, but I know, if I'm not mistaken, Shumi does uh, ship overseas, so. I, crazy. I seen uh, several people uh, posting on Instagram that they were finding those. I was like, I've got, I've got two of them. I've got that one, but I swear I wish I could find some more of them. I'd love to have another one or two of those just to have, just to keep back. But I have seen a lot of people, they're seeing them in their WalMarts, and I'm like, what? Mary, that's what's what's all about. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, but I will tell you a little tip. So as you notice, my my prox, Proxima Midnight, I have her in the bag. This is what I do when I take her by the box. I actually cut this out, even though I know who she is. I actually put everything in the bag. Um, like I said, I was photographing her yesterday. So uh, this is how I actually store figures that I'm not currently displaying or using. Um, and I also take the Build-A-Fig piece and uh, put it in its own bag as well. But these little bags, you can get them from Uline. They're really, really cool. You can write them with a magic marker. And they are, uh, as you guys have seen before, I mean, I put I put everything in these little bags. Protect the pigs. Do 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 do. Night of Ren. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, uh, backstory on me. Um. For about a decade, I was a competitive uh, radio control um, racer. Um, when I actually hung it up and quit, I was ranked ninth in the nation in my class. Uh, I was a ROAR official for the, the Southeast District. Um, I took that very seriously and had a trailer, sponsors, the whole nine yards. Um, before that, I was on a competitive paintball team, uh, which we were third in the state and I think sixth in the Southeast, which I took that very seriously. So everything that I do hobby related, I take it very seriously. I put 110% into it. Um, I just throw myself into it because my theory is, and, and, I, and I sort of apply this to my channel as well. Um, when I when I done team Losi, boom, right there, Robert. Yes, team Losi. 
Um, my philosophy with uh, radio control was you will never beat me. The only way you will beat me um, is through skill. Um, you're not going to beat me because of money. And I used to love beating people that would spend an exuberant amount of money um, on their cars and basically just beat them with skill. That was my thing. Um, and it was fun. And I did the same thing um, with uh, paintball. Go big or go home. Well, my thing is, is, you know, um, when you when you do anything competitive, you want the best. You want the best equipment. Um, but sometimes that can create a black hole. And that black hole, you know, it's a deep one. I do take the three-pack very seriously. I do. It's uh, I'm proud of the three-pack. It is a very huge and important part of my life period pardon me I'm looking for a I'm looking I got all kinds of stuff just hanging around down here I was gonna I was gonna put Wolverine in a bag but they're over there so if we can so if so can we see it what uh cars um, actually, um, I have one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have nine cars downstairs. Favorite Hot Toys figure that I own. As of right now, 2019, is this one. This is my favorite right here. The Mythos Obi Wan. Uh, this thing is wickedly cool. I mean, wickedly cool. Let me play as well. Uh, the detail on it, the accessories. I mean, the back, all this stuff on the backpack. It's it's crazy. It's insane. But this is my favorite right now. And to be perfectly honest with you, that is my favorite one of 2018. Uh, we've actually done that, Funko Biggie. Uh, I know Ryan's on a conference call right now. Um, he, um, I think his new video might be out by now. Uh, his collection video. Um, a lot of times we do the three-pack Tuesday. You got five to, oh, you're talking about Hot Wheels. I'm talking about cars you can drive. <laughs> I'm, I'm not into Hot Wheels. Um, a lot of people in my area are. Um, I used to be in Hot Wheels when I played with them, but uh, I'm not into collecting Hot Wheels. That's, that's a whole nother genre. That's a whole world upon its, its own. Nice, Danny. Yes. Order those protectors. Uh, Chris, I actually have a spot uh, probably about mm, 10 miles from my house where as soon as it quits raining, me and Mythos Obi-Wan are going to go out and do some photos. Yes. Yes, indeed. Speaking of Star Wars... <laughs> I got I got something right here. He's really he's really cool. Oh, oh, oh. So these are egg attacks, and I love these egg attacks. Um, I got this one when I was in Atlanta for a couple of months on a job, and. Uh, I've absolutely fell in love with this thing and it's just yeah 
I just love this thing. And this there's there's a reason for him being out here tonight. Because he's sort of the, uh, the center of attention. Favorite pop that I own. Wow. Okay, so that's not a singular question. So I have a shelf that I keep every single pop that has ever been sent to me by, by fans of the channel, friends, the three-pack. Those are my favorite pops. Period. But my number one pop for 2018 was the Nux car. If you haven't watched that video, you need to watch that one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this here is the Egg Attack Sand Trooper. I've had him for um, a few months. We've we've had some fun together, but he's been lonely. Let me just put him over here for now. He's been lonely, and you know. He needed he he needed he needed something right. He needed he needed some he needed a friend. And there's something that came out last year that that was Black Series that I absolutely fell in love with. Uh, Pick that up. And um, it got me to thinking. Uh, the egg attacks they they range honestly from big bad toy store you can get some as low I've seen them as low as 30 and as high as almost a hundred uh, they're really they're really cool they're very articulated uh, this is his blaster rifle that comes with him uh, he comes with two extra pairs of hands that I keep in this little box here. The uh, the backpack is magnetized, so you can take that off, which is really cool. So basically, it just pops on like that. So it got me to thinking, and I tried to get this early in the year, about middle of the year in 2018, but epically failed because it said it was no longer available but then all of a sudden it became available again so as soon as I saw it I immediately purchased it right now comic storylines I don't know if this actually counts but this is my favorite right now this, this graphic I'm more into graphic novels uh, the National Comic Books. And the reason why is because a comic book doesn't have enough content in it and I get upset. Alright. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Debuting live January 1st, 2019 at the toy table is the Egg Attack Dubak. This thing is wickedly cool. Oh my goodness. Like I said, when this thing first came out from Big Bad Toy Store, it literally was they, unavailable. Unavailable, unavailable, unavailable. And I was sad. And just late this year, I was on their site. And uh, lo and behold, there it was in stock. So I immediately uh, grabbed it. I've never seen it. I've never seen a video on it. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, Toy Bills does. Um, but I had to have it. I love I love egg, egg attacks too. Egg attacks are cool. Oh. So instead of doing an unboxing video, I decided that this is what I was going to debut for the toy table in 2019. Here we go. Oh. 
the camera is not going to do this thing justice at all. It's it's just not. But check him out. Look at the detail on this thing. This thing is so awesome looking. I don't even know. I don't even know what all you can do with this thing yet. Looks like his tail moves. Yep, tail moves. He got some tight joints, I know that. Oh, we got, oh look at there, feet. Got some good rotation on the feet. Uh, yes, they do, uh, Rakeem. They got um, they got Iron Man. They got Spider Man. Um, they, yeah, they do. They I can't tell you all of them off the top of my head, but they are several egg attacks. Now I will tell you this: some of them are harder to find. Oh my goodness, this thing is so cool. I cannot wait to focus. I, I wish his mouth opened. Now, the true test is right here. This is the true test. And will he fit on it? <laughs> He does! Yes! Oh, I'm super stoked right now. I am super stoked. I need to change a hand out, though. We need to have... Yeah, we need to have this hand. Hang on. Pardon moi. I'll do this while I read some... <laughs> That's a good one, Mary. That's a real good one. I think this is the first time I've ever swapped out the hands on this thing. Get in there. Snap on. Snap into a slim, slim gym. Oh. Cool. Now I will say this on the egg attacks, their their pins are tight. They're very tight. All right, so I switched this hand out so I could put the reins in this hand. Oh yes, oh yeah, here we go. yippee ki yay Pull that rein up a little bit. Oh my goodness, guys. Now the other true test is see if his backpack. <laughs> Cause a lot of time I'm not sure about the backpack. The backpack might oh yeah, it'll work. Okay, cool. See, that's on the 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 black series do back that I've got. I think something's it doesn't he doesn't fit all the way down on the do back good per se. Um tell you what, let's uh let's put his uh his blaster rifle in his hand. I'm so glad I done this on the toy table. Guys I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold him by his tail. What do you what do you think? I don't know about you, but I think this thing is pretty wickedly cool. I mean, this thing is cool. Check that bad boy out. And I love the I love the way the saddle and everything he fits on there. And the egg attack, yes, the egg attack looks big on him, but that's the beauty of egg attacks. It's that's just the way it's designed. Curious. Oh, yes. 
This thing is going to be so cool to photograph. Oh my goodness. I love this. Y'all just keep chatting. I'm just going to play with this thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, uh, I'm. you might see more egg attacks in 2019. Um... They have the scalability of pops, the and as far as the the bubbleness looking of them, like the oversized head. But they got the posability of action figures, so uh, you might actually see more egg attacks in 2019. Because I really dig them, I dig them a lot. That's right. Hit a like button for the do back. Golly, bum, that thing looks wickedly cool. And just give you a comparison. So there's the Wolverine. So there's a there's a noticeable size difference between a normal six inch figure. Um, but like I said, the the, the Barnes and Noble sells uh, these. Not many of them, but uh, they sell a few of them. But Big Bad Toy Store is where I picked up the do-back and it was the do-back actually was cheaper than the egg attack yes Lisa the gladiator Hulk uh, egg attack does look really cool my mustache is working my nerve right now so I've got some uh, I'm getting ready to start doing some mustache work so there might be a uh, there might be a little bit of a uh, difference coming soon <laughs> yeah the old man logan I'm, i dig the old man logan old, old man logan is cool he's really cool i bought him late in the game i just saw him at walgreens one day and i was like you know what i need an old man logan yeah you're right funko mac i, I would love to go in there uh, Mesco, Randy, uh, I have one Mesco that I'm actually going to sell. I have a Deathstroke Mesco that I'm actually going to sell. Um, not really. Not for the price point. They're beautiful. Don't get me wrong. They're beautiful figures. I just, I don't want to, if I'm, if I'm going to go down for the price of one of those, I can put a little extra money with it and get a hot toy. So... That's just the way my brain works. Uh, but I do, I do like them. They're 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 awesomely detailed figures. They're beautifully done, and for a six inch figure, you, you can't beat it. Really, for a high end six inch, really Funko Biggie Daddy, Dominoes. Wow. Yeah, like I said. You will never hear me complain about the detail. Ah, that I don't know about that, Tribby. I might officially have to retire from Pop Wars. But I do know one thing. If you hadn't checked out DK's little video yet, Kent, you need to check out DK's video on Instagram. Yep, you need to check it out. I'm just saying. Uh, statues? Um, no. No, I do not have any statues. Let me let me double check. No. However, I did see some at uh, Box Lunch a few months ago. Dragon Ball Z statues, and they they were lit. They look good, real good. Greg cusses during Pop Wars. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Greg says words in Pop Wars that gets points deducted from him. So, you want to me open up something else? I got something else right here I haven't opened up yet. <laughs> That's right, Rakeem. 
NECA, I'm a huge NECA, I mean, I'm a huge NECA guy. I love NECA. True that, Ken Pool. Well, Strawberry wants me to open something else. It's not going to be really crazy exciting, but it was gifted to me by a, a GameStop manager. Okay, I'll tell you what. If anybody can guess what this is, I will send you what's in this box. Uh, Jason, yes. And I will tell you this. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now. None of you will ever guess what's in this box. Never. Ever. Uh, Trippy, what was you asking a question about? Did I miss something? Ooh, yes, Doctor Strange. Yes. 100% agree with Randy. Now, the Black Panther looks good, too, but between those two, Doctor Strange. Twenty one question style. Uh, sure. PHH, if you want to ask me a question. I will tell you this. It's made by McFarland Toys. And it's at GameStop. It is not a pop. It is not play arts. Um Yeah. GameStop McFarland. Uh, no, they're not, Trippy. <laughs> uh, no, it's not a spawn figure. Uh, set? Um, it's part of... It looks like there's three figures possibly in this. Not Fortnite, not Walking Dead, not Lucille. <laughs> not Stranger Things, nothing Star Wars, nothing Fortnite, nothing Lucille. It's not Walking Dead, it's not Star Wars, it's not Fort Fortnite. <laughs> nope, not Call of Duty. I think it's a game, though. I'm pretty sure it's a game. Uh, no. And no. Alright, let me look here. Make sure I'm not stupid here. Not Modern Family. Okay, so it is a game. Uh, no, it's not The Crash. Not Overwatch. Not Game of Thrones. Not not God of War. Not Harry Potter. <laughs> Even if you guess the game, it's not Destiny. I do have a Destiny uh, figure. I got the Lord Saladin, which is really cool. I need to figure, I need to open that thing up. Not Overwatch, not Elder, not Kingdom Hearts, not God of War. <laughs> uh, no, it is not the Nuka Cola figure. No, not Friday, not Fallout, not Five Nights, not Lara Croft, not Wild Things, not South Park, <laughs> not Halo, not Sonic. Nope, not don't don't starve. No, I've got those four pops and they're really cool. No Red Dead. Nope. No Halo. Nope. <laughs> no Fallout. Wow, there's something just flew over on my light right there, and it just literally. Not Nuka Cola. Nope. Nope. 
Retro fast, nope. A construction set to display for phone, nope. Not crash, not spyro. Ooh, PHH is tapping out. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's no way. This thing, I think, was on clearance for like forever, and my GameStop manager actually gave it to me as a gift, which I thought was really cool of him. Uh, no, it's not a superhero. I will tell you this, though. Okay. All right. Not, no, no, no. Okay, he has, this figure has a cowboy hat with a badge on it. If that helps. <laughs> not King Kong. Not World of Warcraft. McFarlane King Kong? What? No Yoshi. Not a Mystery Mini. Not Mass Effect. Nope. No Mario. No Sword Art. This is good. No Donkey Kong. <laughs> it's not South Park. All right, so let me let me let me pull this up online here. Uh, okay, so the first letter of the game that this figure it begins with a B, as in boy. The name of the game begins with a B. Toy Story does not have a B in it. <laughs> Kirby does not have a B in it. Well, that's the name of the game. If you get the name of the game, then you should be able to figure out pretty quick. Because I think there's only three. Borderlands, Nick Money, right there. Boom. Nick Money. Borderlands. Nick. You're the man. Where are you at, Nick Money? Hey, y'all are too late. Dick Money already got it. Borderlands. Where are you located at, Nick? I'm going to see if you're in the US, US of A. <laughs> Nick Money. I need you to uh, shoot me uh, if you are in the, uh, let me know if you're in the United States, because if you're not in the United States, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Pittsburgh, all right. So Instagram me, uh, find me on Instagram and direct message me your information and I will send you what's in this box. Now, this box is not sealed yet. So, Nick, you have a very important decision to make. We can reveal it to everybody, or I can seal it and make it only for you as a secret. That's something I'm going to start doing a lot more of, because people seem to like that. So, Nick, you tell me. Show it or seal it. <laughs> show it or seal it show it or seal it <laughs> see there we got people saying reveal it we got people saying seal it but it's all up to Nick Money I will tell you this I'll tell you this okay so Nick said reveal it okay so alright this is this is the last one of these of 2018 that I did. So, Nick Money, because you guessed what was in the what the name of the game was. I'm sending you the director uh, Krennic, signed by me, with one of my exclusive stickers on it, right there. 
This is the last one I did in 2018. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, but send me a uh, message on Instagram with your name, address, and all that good stuff, and I will uh, I'll get it shipped out to you. Oh, there it is, right there. Oh, I bet that was horrendously terrible. Boom. Yes. So if you get that to me tonight, I'll get it in the mail tomorrow. Uh, Cause I've got something coming to camp pool tomorrow as well. But here's what it was right here. Clap trap from borderlands. <laughs> Clap trap from borderlands. Um, yeah, I was, uh, I was pretty stoked that my, uh, GameStop manager, he, he, he called me up and he's like, Hey man, come by the shop. I got something for you. I was like, cool. I just thought he had me uh, another printout for what was being released, but no, he, uh, he had this for me and I don't know nothing about this. I don't I've never played the game. I, but I will say this. This thing is actually pretty cool looking. Oh, and for all you collectors out there, go to Walmart and buy you a pair of these. You can thank me tomorrow. Because, boom. 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 This is the only way to go, especially if you deal with NECA. The only way to go. Makes life so much easier. Oh, oh, his wheel, oh, his wheel turns. Right there. That's pretty cool. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let's put his cowboy hat on. Oh, that goes through there. Yeah. That'd be cool to photograph. Jeff the Pop Hunter, what's up, my friend? Yeah. I can I can I can have fun with this. got his uh i don't really know how he would shoot the gun with paddles for uh for a hand <laughs> but yeah my buddy uh andrew uh he's a gamestop manager and he uh he hooked me up with this and that was really awesome of him really see that's why you need a trigger finger <laughs> hold his gun And he comes with, he comes with this thing. I don't know what the heck it is. It's probably a sword. And he also comes with this hat here. And he comes with that. And I don't know what that is either. <laughs> Uh, Daniel Grail Pops. Uh, what's the name? Wait a minute. What's the name of the six inch with blue eyes and gray skin? Are you talking about a pop? Six inch with blue eyes. Nineteen <laughs> K. And I think this. Let me get this down here so I'm making no noise. Uh, Funko Big Biggie Dad, I'm telling you right now, it, it, it starts with us. It starts with us. Um, <laughs> so that's what that is. Nick Money, there you go. Boom. I will get that to you, my friend. So there he is on his, his stand. That is so cool. A six inch pop, blue eyes and gray skin. I mean, I, I got a Godzilla over there that's gray and got blue eyes. 
that's what you're talking about. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> but, so yeah, guys, I don't know. What do you think? Claptrap. I think that's what his name was. Yeah, Claptrap. I can have some fun with this thing. I think this will be fun to photograph. I really do. I like the fact that it's weathered and it's all... Yeah, I got it, Nick. I got it on my, my phone right there. So I'll make sure and get that mailed out to you tomorrow, my friend. Uh, and I hope the pop is okay with you. Uh, yeah, new shirts for 2019. Um, if you actually... So here's the thing. Let me let me let me get it right here. Let me let me find it right here. Boom. Um I actually um have a Teespring account and I have I have a ton of stuff on my Teespring, and I actually just did a, uh, I actually just did a, uh, a butt cracker shirt. <laughs> so let me throw it here in the, uh, and it's it's in my description of all my videos too. Um, let me paste that right there. But I've got stuff for ladies. I got shirts, coffee mugs, hoodies, T-shirts. I even have. Uh, leggings for the ladies there you go but uh, yeah so check out my store and uh, pick up some merch I got some anime stuff I've got signature stuff yeah um, but yeah if you want some merch man grab some merch I'd, I'd love to uh, and if you do pick something up seriously Take a picture of it and send it to me, or put it on Instagram and tag me on it. I'd love to see you guys what you what you pick up. So uh, I'm all about branding. I mean, I brand everything right there. I mean, I'm I'm all about it. Hey, collecting couple, I'm telling you right now, the leggings look pretty cool. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. And I think I'm the only toy collector out there that's offering ladies leggings for merchandise. Got to take care of the ladies. Got to take care of the wives and the girlfriends. And leggings are big, you know. Uh, yeah, these shirts here I do locally. I've got a, um, um, this is my photography shirts, and I did my toy hunter shirts the same same way. Um. I personally, I like the uh, I like the signature. Um, uh, yes, sorta. <laughs> uh, that is not my official signature. No, it's not. Um, my handwriting is atrocious. But that's the the signature is what I put on my photos. So I wanted a professional signature. So I actually had that done. Um, so yeah, it was uh, that was part of that was part of part of that part. Of, that's part of that part of my life. But yeah, I've got toy table talk shirts. I've got toy table talk leggings, sweatshirts, t-shirts. I got coffee mugs. I got phone. What's really cool is I've got holy butt crackers on le on leggings. But I'm actually going to get me and uh, I think I'm going to get me and Kent some shirts made up to say uh, uh, race to 19K. Yeah. So me and Kent, you know, race to 19K have my name and Kent Poole's name on it or our logos or something. So, ooh, I did not see, I've not seen those, Nick. Well, Funko Biggie Daddy. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Mine is like a doctor. It is seriously like a doctor. 
I'm not. I'm not even playing right now. Three pack teaser. I actually, uh, we do have some shirts that hey have hashtag three pack on the back of them. Uh, me and Kent and Ryan have those. Um. All right, Frank, Funko Biggie Daddy. I will. Uh, I'll make some of those and throw them up on my Teespring account tomorrow. Galactic Funko, what's up? All right, guys. So it's a little bit after eight. I want everybody. Let's look here. So I'm on. I am literally 25 away from 2,300 subs. Wow, that's crazy. But here's the thing. I want everybody to do me a favor. Um, let me look here real quick. So the collecting couple is going live in 30 minutes. They're doing a fire, a Funko fireside chat. Make sure and give this some love. Give them some love. Show them some support. They're a really cool channel. I love them. But I think we're gonna call it an end for this stream. For this first toy table talk of 2019 with an announcement. There's gonna be a new addition to the toy table next Tuesday. Something new is gonna be here at the toy table. Just saying. Taking things up a notch, just a little notch, not a big notch. But seriously, guys, thanks, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think, um, I mean, we got 61, I think 61 people watching right now. That is awesome. One of my goals for 2019 is I want to try to get about 100 people watching consistently. I, that's one of my goals. I'd love to, I'd love to get to that point. Um, I've seen my channel grow and my live streams grow from it was just me and now there's you know 60 people in here watching so uh, hey I love it but anyway guys I hope y'all have a great rest of the week I'm going back to work tomorrow um, weekends coming up so get out there and have some fun this week enjoy each other and support each other and let's just have fun collecting and having fun hanging out with each other so Till next Tuesday, it'll be Toy Table Talk or Three Pack Tuesday, one of the two. And until then, I'm Greg, and I'll see you later.